Princess Linda as a wee baby. It's the spring of 1944. Mrs. Sam Johnson's on the left. She came up to officiate at the birth, and that is uh, Sam Houston's wife, Albertine, who is, who is holding Linda. She began life objecting. We were living at 30th Place. We lived there for 18 years, and I'll never love a home more. She still has those pretty dimples. There she is on the uh, bassinet, which had a top that you could strap her on to for uh, uh, a little sunning and lay her where the sun came in through the window. There she is in the baby boogie that uh, Mr. Justice Tom Clark gave her when she was born. It was a very durable baby book and survived at least five children. I used to lend it out to everybody who, was, who had a baby. We often talked about getting a pony to pull it, it was so big. To me in those days, all the gurgling was fascinating. That's why you see so many feet of it. This is the backyard at 30th Place which I lavished a lot of affection and a lot of work. That's the little terrace uh, where we used to um, have a lot of summer meals. Zephyr had just been with us about a year and a half at that time. Dr. Reed, my next door neighbor, helped me with all the flowers. And the peonies were my very favorites and they were really lovely specimens. and they were climbing roses on the back of the screen porch. The screen porch was a scene of a lot of happy time. As Linda, Linda Bird in her bath. Always one of her favorite moments of the day. I don't know whether she'd like for me to show it to her friends these days or not. Juicy morsel, I told. And in her playpen, we used to have such good times on the screen porch. This was the summer of 44 a rattler which she used to teeth on. She got her first tooth when she was five months old. The speaker used to come out and see us a lot in those days. And from then on through his life, Mendenberg was one of his fast friends. Now she's lying beside a window through which she very nearly fell. I came one morning and found that the straps had slipped and that she had fallen out between the uh, bed and the windowsill. And here I am on the back porch holding her. Getting her to eat was never one of the problems. The backyard was also full of lovely hydrangeas and hollyhocks.
it was a time for gardening. I had a 30-foot plot out of which I would uh, uh, produce uh, enough to uh, feed the family all summer and put up everything that you could possibly can. Giving away tomatoes got to be quite a chore. Nobody would come for them anymore. I had to deliver them. That's one of Linda's prettiest dresses. We were on Aunt Effie's bed. I can't tell whether she's praying or objecting. <laughs> I used to combine a sunbath with playing with her frequently by making a pallet out in the backyard. Also, it was a good way to get a lot of, um, of the gardening done. I could just pop her into the playpen while I got the weeds out of the zinnias. In those days, Bill Deason and I were, were good gardeners. Here's Bill. He's stalking up the tomatoes, I think. He was with the Navy and stayed at our house. In fact, the third floor at 30th place, which is not even finished in those days, but just, uh, oh, look at the lovely lemon lilies. The third floor had a series of uh, young men who were between ships on two weeks leave from the Army, the Navy, the Air Force. It was hard to get a hotel room in Washington in those days, and it was just a place to land for everyone who came to town.